Hey, hey. So I was just having a quick chat with a lovely gentleman on my team, and he mentioned that he has a hard time keeping focused. Now, my personal reaction to that is, what do you mean? What do you mean? How can you have a hard time keeping focused? Right? And then I begin, because I don't. I know what I want. I don't have a hard time focusing on it because I want what I want, and I'm going to make damn sure I get it right? So then I went, okay, so how can I best help him? What could be his problem in keeping focused? So let's talk about that because there's a million and one different reasons. I want to go through some of these reasons and how you can knock these, these things out so that you become ultra focused on the results that you desire, right? So let's talk about that. Hi, Pat. How are you? Hey, Brendan. Hey, Pio. So here's the thing. Let's go over a few of the reasons and how you can fight that. Okay. A, you might have a lot of stuff going on in your life, right? You might have a full-time job. You might have little kids. You might have an infant at home. Much harder to build a business, find the time to build a business when your kids are younger, right? When they're older, like my kids are 17 and 21. They're not like, I want milk, pick me up, right? So I don't have to deal with that. So if you've got things in your world that are cutting into your work time, you want to start scheduling. This is my time I'm putting into my business. From 10 to 11, daddy's in the home office working on his business, right? I mean, so if you have a full-time job, obviously it's going to be more like 9 p.m. to 10 p.m. You're in bed now. Daddy's working on his business, right? It's going to take some coordinating with your partner if you have one, right? For those of you who go, well, my partner really doesn't, you know, walk, give the kids a bath so that I can work on my business. You need to have a chat with your partner, right? You've got to sit your, your loved ones down and say, look, I'm not doing this so I can get a new pair of shoes every month. I'm doing this for our, not my, our future, our family's future. So any time that we can together free up time for me to spend on the business, I promise you that time I will be working on the business. I'm not going to be watching cat videos. I'm going to be prospecting and making sales, right? So you need to make it very, very clear to your loved ones because here's the truth. When you're in network marketing, a lot of times, or you know, you're working on your phone, a lot of times your partner, your wife, husband, whatever, may be thinking you're just goofing around chatting. So you've got to get real with them and say, when you see me on my phone, I am working my business, okay? I ain't watching cat videos. I'm prospecting, building a team. I'm getting sales. Get really real with your loved ones that every second that they help you find, meaning they're looking after the kids or whatever, you will be putting it into your business. You've got to get your loved ones, the people who live in that house with you, you've got to get them on the same page. That's all there is to it. You may have to find the certain hours in your day that are going to work for you. You know what I used to do when back when I was making jewelry, I got a bit of a contract to build, to build, to create these necklaces for this guy. He was a channeler, actually. We won't go into that. It was all the colors of the archangels, blah, blah, blah. I had kids that never slept. They never slept. Wonder where they got that from. But anyway, the only time I could work on this stuff was between midnight and 3 a.m. But so be it. That was when I could find the time. That's when I did it. Right? For the first few years when you're building your business, the first few years, they are critical. They're absolutely critical. You go hard. You go as hard as you freaking can in the first few years so that you build that foundation and you get the momentum working in your favor. It will pay off. I promise you that. <coughs> Other reason you may be having trouble staying focused is if your desire simply isn't 
big enough. Do you want this or what? Maybe it's not big enough, right? How big is that desire? How bad do you want it? Do you want it bad that you're going to make sure you remain damn focused? Or is it, eh, whatever, I don't really care, right? You've got to get in touch with just how much you want it. And you've got to think about that every single day. Are you doing some creative visualization for yourself? Are you future projecting yourself? Are you living in your future as if you've already accomplished your goal? That will keep you focused. If you know you say want to hit whatever rank of elite and you want to be making 10 grand a month, you have to picture yourself at that rank, at that income level. Not only that, you've got to feel what it would feel to have hit that rank and have that money in your life. You've got to live it. You've got to feel it every single day. And that will help you keep focused, okay? Know what you want and feel it, what it would be like to have it, okay? <coughs> Your drive. Do Are you a driven person? Think about the things you've done before in your life, right? Are you finding you lack drive right now when you were, you know, before in your other career or whatever, you were a super driven person? Or have you always been a person that doesn't have a lot of drive? I don't believe there is anything. No, there is no laziness. Humans aren't lazy. You know somebody, you're going, they're lazy. Their house is a mess. They sit there on the couch all the time. They're not lazy. There's an issue going on up here. There's no such thing as laziness. They've got limiting beliefs. That's why they're not taking action. Okay, so if you go, well, I'm just not that motivated. I'm just not that driven. Why is that? You've got to dissect and analyze why that might be. Is it some limiting beliefs? Is it self-doubt? Is it fear? Is it the, I'm not good enough to actually go out and make this happen kind of bullshit scenario that's playing out in your mind? It just might be. It just might be, okay? So you've got to really analyze why you are having trouble keeping yourself motivated. Here's the thing. You can be inspired by somebody doing a video. You can be inspired when you read a book. You can be inspired when you go to your company convention. Motivation is internal. Okay. In inspiration might jack you up for tonight, but it's your internal motivation that's going to keep you focused at midnight when you're putting the hours into your business because that's finally when you've got the time because now the kids are finally in bed. That is internal motivation. It is your job to keep that fire stoked. Okay, got to find it. Also, next one, your why. Are you really clear on your why? Why are you doing this? You have to know why you are doing this. And you, you've heard the whole thing, your why has to be big enough to make you cry. Well, to a certain extent. I mean, my why doesn't really make me cry. I mean, I just know what I want. I, I, I want to live well. I want to be able to, I don't care about having a Lamborghini and all this designer clothing, any of that crap. I want to never feel financial anxiety ever again in my life. I want to be able to go to out for a nice restaurant, go to dinner when I want to. I want to be able to drink decent wine instead of absolute crap out of a box. I want to be able to travel whenever, wherever I want. I want to be able to put my kids through film school or whatever they want to do. I want to be able to have enough money in the bank so that I don't wake up in a state of anxiety going, oh my God, I may be 80 years old living under a bridge. Those are my whys, right? I know a lot of you have the same whys. Everybody has different whys, but anyway, you've got to be ultra clear on why you're doing this. What are your core values? What do you want? You've got to know that. And here's a little secret for you. You think you have all these whys? Well, I'm doing it because I want a million dollars a year and I want a red Ferrari and I want the beach house in Florida. 
while you think those might be the reasons, hey, Jen, how's it going? While you think those might be the true reasons, if you ask yourself why you want those things and you ask yourself then why you want that, ask yourself that five times, you will find the core reason of your why. And if you're human, I promise you, your why, it's happiness. It's happiness because you want to live in a state of joy all the time. How do I know that? Because you're human. Every human being has the same core motivation, okay? Let's face it. Does money bring you happiness? No, but it relieves a lot of stress in your life so that it helps you. It, you're, you're living in a happier state. You're living in a more joyous state because you're not suffering from anxiety about not having enough money, right? You get to have more fun, more adventures because you've got the money to travel, zip line, whatever you want to do, right? So while money doesn't buy you happiness, kind of helps you feel it a little more often, right? When you got money. So anyway, there you go. You've got to be clear on your why. You absolutely must be clear on your why. Um, another thing is you want to ask yourself, right? Analyze where this shows up in your life and other areas. Are you someone who self sabotages, right? You think you're clear on, I want this business. I want to be successful. I want to have abundance in my life. I don't want to stress out about money, right? But then you may find yourself self sabotaging right? So you know you need to do these activities to build your business, to make that money because you're clear on your why, but yet you're not doing these activities and you're self-sabotaging, right? You're not doing the activities you know you need to be doing. You got to figure out why you're not doing them, right? Self-sabotage is usually, it's, it's up here. It's all up here, right? It's the self-doubt. It's the I'm not good enough. How about this one? Try this one on for size. Are you actually possibly afraid of success? A lot of people suffer from this, but oh my God, what if I'm successful? I'm going to lose all my friends. Well, they were never your friends to begin with if they don't like you become because you become successful, right? Oh my gosh, what if everybody is going to be like wanting my money? What if everybody's going to be banging on my door asking for help? What does, is this going to mean I'm going to have a lot more responsibility? Ooh, I just thought of something else here, you guys. This has come up with a few people I've worked with and they are in network marketing, right? They know that you want to be building a team, right? In network marketing to grow your business, to make money, but yet the self-doubt, which all boils down to the I'm not enough kind of thing. So if you're not having conversations and you're not prospecting, you ain't going to build a team. How's that going to happen, right? So if you're having these doubts about yourself that you would be a good leader, for example, right? If you're like, I don't know how to lead. I don't know if I'd be a good leader. I don't think I can lead. No one's going to listen to me. I have no experience in leadership. I don't know enough to be a leader. Then how is it you're going to be having the conversations and prospecting and closing people and recruiting and building a team? You won't. That is something you've got to, you've got to deal with that in your mindset, right? The whole fear of leadership set, or leadership thing. All these limiting self, these self-limiting beliefs, it all boils down to the fear that I'm not enough. I'm not good enough. I'm not smart enough. Blah, 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 blah. Oh my God. The human experience. The human experience. How do I know you're suffering from this? Because you're human. Every human being suffers from this to a certain degree. Some people more than others. I have completely gotten that crap out of my head. Now I feel limitless, absolutely limitless, because I know I'm good enough. I know I'm deserving. I know I'm smart enough. When I used to think I wasn't, I've changed my programming 
so that I know that I am. So guess what? There's nothing to hold me back. There's nothing to hold me back, right? You got to get rid of that shit. So watch for patterns in your thinking. There are patterns happening all the time. Your brain works that way. It's all a program, all a program. And if your program isn't working to help you become successful and joyful and happy and blah, 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 all those lovely things, then it's time for you to work on changing your programming, right? It's time for you to work on becoming the person you must become in order to build this dream business, create this dream lifestyle, create those beautiful relationships you're so deserving of, right? Everybody has to reprogram their brain. You're no different. You're human. You've had a past. <laughs> I don't even, that that's a whole training for another day, but don't be so hard on yourself if you're having these limiting beliefs, right? You're human, you're going to be having them, but it's your choice to do something about them or not. This is something I work with on my team. I noticed in the chat on Saturday morning in my team, there were some things coming up for people. I'm like, woo, we got to nip this in the bud right now, right? So it's like, you guys are jumping on a Zoom an hour for now. We're doing a brain reprogramming training, right? And then I jump on and I work with everybody to reprogram their brains. Here's the thing. You can know how to build a successful business online. You could know how to get product sales, how to recruit people. But none of that, none of that matters if your mindset is stopping you from getting the sales, from having the conversations and getting the signups. You could have the know-how, but if you ain't doing it, it's up here you've got to deal with. You know, you've heard mindset is 80% of the game. It is so true. Your skills are important, absolutely, but they count for nothing. If your mindset is, if your psychology is taking you out of the game and stopping you from taking action, the skills are being wasted, okay? Don't waste your skills. Don't waste your skills, okay? Hey, Teresa, how's it going? <coughs> well, see, there we go. Jason wants a bat. He knows what he wants. He's putting in action every second of his day that he can put into his business. He's putting it into his business. Therefore, he's getting the results like someone would who is working this hard. That's all there is to it. You can't pretend to work it and expect to get results. You got to actually work it. How many people are you talking to a day? How often are you bringing up your products? How often are you offering your business opportunity? How often are you offering your coaching? If you're making no offers and you're out there, you know, posting quote posts and stuff, then you're not really working it as a business. You got to get out of your head and get into action mode and be doing the activities that are actually building your business. The business building activities and the income producing activities, right? So figure out why you're not super focused, why you're not, why you don't have that internal motivation that like, you know, stops you from sleeping at night because you're so freaking on fire because you want it so bad and you've become obsessed. That's what it takes. That's what it takes. You got to find that in yourself or you're half assing this. Okay. That's just the truth. That's the truth. That's why it's why I built my business so quickly. Cause quite frankly, I became obsessed right away and I'm still obsessed. I didn't work today. I took the day off today. I went to my, I went to my fitness class. Well, okay. I worked like an hour in the morning and then I took off, went to my fitness class, went for lunch, met a friend for coffee, drove home, got lost, took me 45 minutes longer to get home because <laughs> I got lost. I don't care. I was listening to music. It was kind of my day off, right? Now I'm back at it. Now I'll pro I will probably work tonight until midnight. I don't know. We'll see. I'm having a drink. It's cocktail hour. So anyway, you like there, there's every once in a while, you've got to get real with yourself. If you find yourself in this place, 
I don't need to get real with myself once in a while because I never fall off that focus wagon because I know what I want. I want it bad and I'm going to make sure I get it. I'm going to create it because I am a creator. I'm not a victim of circumstances and just kind of, you know, going to kind of hope that it happens. I ain't in the game of hope. I'm in the game of making shit happen, right? So you want to get develop that mindset. Super powerful, super powerful. There's nothing to stand in your way when you get there, right? Awesome, you guys. Anyway, um, I didn't even introduce myself. I'm Aaron Birch. I help people build a successful business online. I'm doing something right now where I'm doing a free three-month intensive coaching program to teach you everything you need to know on how to grow a successful business online. You can do it in part-time hours if you have a full-time job. You can do it in full-time if you're like, you know, putting full-time hours into growing your business, whatever. You work with the amount of time that you have, but you need to know what you need to be doing every single day so that every second you are putting into building your business is actually building your business and making you money, right? Because it's a process to build a business. You don't just get your business in a box and then look at it and start making 10 grand a month. It don't work that way. And if ever anyone has told you that it does work that way, you've been lied to. You've been lied to. I'm sorry you've been lied to. You have to build this. It's a process, right? I won't go through the steps. That's a training for another day. We've gone on long enough. Anyway, if you want my coaching, if you want to be working with me, if you're ready to allow me to help you do this, then we need to have a conversation. Uh, you can drop a let's chat in the comments or you can PM me, right? Sometimes I miss when people do want to talk to me because they don't tag me or what have you. And, you know, days go by. It's in the comments and, you know, a video I did two weeks ago kind of thing. So feel free, drop a comment in the, drop a comment in the comments. But if I don't message you right away, feel free to PM me. I'm offering my help, right? So be proactive and reach out to me. And hey, I'll teach you how to be proactive. Because you're not going to get results unless you are proactive. You cannot sit back and expect people to come your way. It doesn't happen. You must be proactive and create the results that you want. That's all there is to it. Right, P.O.? Hey, Matthew, how's it going? I need glasses if I'm going to actually read the comments. Terry was up till 3.45 a.m. Yeah. You know, when I first started my business, I was so on fire. I couldn't sleep. I just couldn't sleep. I would have loved to have slept a little bit more, but I wasn't able to. I was working until like 2 a.m. I'd go to sleep. I'd wake up at 4 a.m. and I couldn't, I couldn't sleep. I just could not. It's like, oh my God, I need, oh my God, I, I can work. I'm, I, I can work. So I would get up and I go, oh, there's people in the UK up right now. Let's get online. Let's chat. Let's make some offers, right? So I just couldn't sleep because I was so on fire. I was so in love with what I was doing. I knew what I wanted, right? Oh, thank you, Jen. I appreciate that. Oh, thank you, darling. Jen, it looks like I'm in London teaching in July, end of July. Um pretty sure that's happening. I don't know for sure because I'm usually the last to know these things, but it looks like I will be teaching at a workshop in London this summer. Awesome. Love you guys. Awesome, you guys. Anyway, if you want to have a conversation, if you want to have a conversation about the coaching and what it entails, see if you qualify for that See if you want to be working with me, all that good stuff. If you want to allow me to help you do this, let's have a conversation, okay? Love you guys. Bye for now. Ooh, there goes the voice. Still battling to get my voice back. Bye, guys.